how to combine the overbought stochastic and Fibonacci extensions. How to combine the overbought stochastic and Fibonacci extensions. We are a monthly chart of Compax Minerals International, the APXCMP, Charlie Mike Papa. This is an American stock that belongs to the Russell 1000 okay, group. <coughs> and we want to discuss how to combine the overbought stochastic and Fibonacci extensions, all right? So, <clears throat> there are three things that we want to use for this strategy. We are looking first for a pattern. So look for a pattern, a chart pattern, a nearly a wave a pattern, okay? Most importantly, look for a wave a pattern. There are 13 specific area wave pattern so look for a pattern, okay, a chart pattern, an area wave pattern. So you want that pattern to be completed first. And the next thing that we are looking for, we want a stochastic A33 to become overbought. So look for a pattern, and when the pattern is completed, wait for the stochastic, okay, at the same time that the pattern is completing, you want the stochastic to become overbought, all right? Okay, that's what we are looking for. The next thing that we are looking for, we want the price to be at 138.2% a Fibonacci extension level. Once those three conditions are completed, we have a bearish trading setup. All right, but in order to trade that bearish trading setup, we want a common set trade line to be broken and then we implement a top down trading method. All right, now. When we're talking about a pattern, which I talk about all the time, all right, when we say a pattern, what do I say? Think of location. Whenever we say a pattern, think of a location. So when we see a pattern is completed, because to avoid trading mistakes, you want to know where and when the pattern is formed. So you do not use, okay, patterns that are at the wrong place. So... Whenever you hear the word pattern, think of location. Where and where, where and when does the pattern form? Critical. So on this chart, without going too much into blah, 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 all right, we have a trend in fact. The price was going up for some time, you can see here. And it almost went vertical here. And then it started pulling back, okay? There is a pattern. So, some trader may not know this pattern, okay? It's what we call a double retracement. So, you may see after a training first, the price will go down like this. First move, down, and then the price will go again up, okay? And then the price will come down. Traders who are subscribers of 24 Elliott Waves YouTube channel already know the pattern that I'm talking about the flat correction pattern. But here, all we are looking for, we are not waiting for the flat correction pattern to be completed completely. All we are waiting for is a double retracement to be completed. I will be recording another videos about the double retracement, all right, to open your eyes because a lot of traders do not understand when we are talking about a double retracement, all right? They don't understand what's going on and they can take advantage of that. So the double retracement price goes down one, two, three, and then go back up again, doing exactly the same thing. That's what we call a double retracement. One, two, three. The one, two, three. So there's first one, two, three. Price goes down in three move, and then go back up again in three move. That's what we are talking about. Okay, it's what we call a double retracement. Now, now you already forgot. You have already forgotten what I've said to you that when we're talking about a pattern, all right, we are thinking of what? Location. I don't want you to forget this. I don't want you to forget that. I don't want you to forget that. So whenever you are talking about double retracement, where do you see the double retracement? Double retracement will take place at the end of an uptrend or at the end of a downtrend. 
That's the best play we want to see, a double retracement. There are some times, some exception, which I will be recording a video about, about a double retracement. All right, that trader may know this pattern, all right? So, in fact, we are looking about, we are looking at uh, a portion of another pattern. Are you getting it now? So, the double retracement is a portion of a flat correction. All right, but we are only concentrating in this case on a double retracement alone. All right, that's why I say a pattern is completed, but that pattern is a portion of a bigger pattern. So don't get confused. So what we are using here, we are just concentrating on the double retracement pattern. And here it is. Prime went down one to three, and it goes up again one to three. All right, that's what we are focusing on now. All right, so here it is. After an uptrend or after a downtrend, we see a double retracement. That's all. So that pattern that I'm calling double retracement, which is not in fact a pattern on its own, is a portion of a bigger pattern, is completed. All right, right here. So the first condition is fulfilled. All right. Now, the stochastic should be overboard. The stochastic A33, that's what I'm using all the time. Here it is. It's overboard. So, second condition is also fulfilled. Beautiful. All right. A pattern is completed, and the stochastic is also overboard. The third condition, we want the price to be at 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of the prior trend. But here, I do not concentrate on the whole trend. I concentrate on the last part of the trend. Now, traders who are following us at 248, your wave know this because we usually apply, yes, yes, we usually apply the Fibonacci extension to the fifth wave. Yes or no? We apply it only to the fifth wave, not to the whole trend. So the last move of the trend, you apply Fibonacci extension to that, and you highlight the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. You want a price to be exactly there. So our three conditions are fulfilled, are completed, all right? A pattern is completed, all right? Stochastic is overboard. Stochastic A33 is overboard. And the price also are one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level. I have what? A bearish trading setup. <laughs> okay, here it is. So here, what do we need to do? We wait for the common central line to capo to be capo, which means we want to see the first bearish candlestick, which means we don't want to be the first person selling it. So the first people selling, we see all oh, right, people are selling. So the common central line is capo, that candlestick is closed, either on a daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart. Now we will implement a multiple time frame trading method to, to bring it down. Boom, down. Very simple. Is it simple to you? Is it complex? All right. If you are a new trader, maybe it's complex, but it's not complicated because you are looking for a pattern to be completed. All right. You want the stochastic to be overboard. All right. And then you want the price to be at one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level. You want the common central line to be kaput, first candlestick bar down, and then you implement a multiple time frame trading method. For traders who do not know anything about multiple time frame trading method. Check it out at uh, 24 Stock Trader YouTube channel where I recorded a video about the multiple time frame trading method. All right, so here we are on the monthly chart, monthly chart trading setup after this candlestick bar is closed. Now we go to the daily chart, wait for the signal, and we use the hourly chart frame for the entry. We can zoom into our, our entry point down to the one minute time frame if you wanted to. All right, here it is, very simple. This is, about, uh, this is about how to combine the overbought stochastic and uh, Fibonacci extensions. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be busy recording another video to answer your specific uh, uh, question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to combine the overbought stochastic and Fibonacci extensions. Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you soon.